Good morning. I just woke up. Um, I think it's like 10, 10.30 maybe. Um, but yeah, I figured we don't have a ton of stuff planned today, but I figured it would be a, a good day to just bring you guys along with us. Um, you know, why not? Might as well. I think that we are going to go and look at some properties for Daniel's business, which I'll let him explain that a little bit more later. And yeah, I think I really need to get ready because I think we're supposed to be hitting the road here soon. One of the properties is like an hour away. So yeah, I, I need to get ready. I need to brush my teeth, do some of my things. here I can kind of explain my business a little bit I've been I actually own a leotard company for gymnasts so I design leotards for them I design practice leotards which is what they wear when they're practicing of course um, it has like the tanks kind of like this you know and then I also do competition leotards so that is of course what they wear when they're competing so a lot of rhinestones and bright colors and um, longer sleeves and yeah I've been I've been designing leotards total for about six or seven years now and I started Bell Leotards my business um, it'll be two years in July I believe July 2024 and yeah I will do another video <laughs> explaining how I even got into it because it's been a wild ride honestly my entire story of how I've made how I made it here to owning a leotard company but it's a fun story though so I will do another video explaining all that it's it's been fun I work with a lot of coaches to design leotards for their teams and I have an amazing production team that produces the garments and yeah I just hired our first employee which is like so wild to me that we're here and I knew that it would happen. I knew that we would get to that point where we could hire um, employees and of course as businesses grow you start needing more hands to help out with things but just to see it happen <laughs> is so wild. It's mind blowing. a pretty day out. I think that we're going to walk to Starbucks. Um, it's like, it's right over this way, like behind that building a little bit. And yeah, I think we're going to walk there. I didn't realize that we didn't have to be on the road. Um, <laughs> be on the road. There's like these kids trying to put their blinds down <laughs> across roads. <laughs> But yeah, I didn't realize that we didn't have to be on the road like so soon. So I think we're going to walk to Starbucks, walk back, and then get on the road for, yeah, to head to the properties. It's we're not... Not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> it's not too far from our um, apartment complex. So figured we'd go on and do it because we don't have to be at the property until, what, two? Yeah. And I was telling we them, yeah, we have two, I was telling them that we have two properties to look at, but I was going to let you explain, like, what it is that you do and, like, why we're going to go look at properties. Well, we got three things that we, you know, I'm, I'm greedy, so I'm always trying to buy the property for myself to turn it into a rental. Uh, if we can't do that because the pricing doesn't make sense, typically a seller can get more money if they list it and I'm also a realtor uh, just because you can get someone that wants to buy it and live in the house and make it their forever home they're gonna pay more than I'll ever pay because I'm coming in with cash I manage about a hundred houses right now in East Tennessee because typically like we make less than a AT&T Wi-Fi uh, bill monthly on it but it's uh, quite the service that we so you're, you're, you're kind of always going into a property not sure on what the best uh, value is for the customer that owns it, but you just kind of figure it out. So today we could buy two houses, we could help manage two houses, we could end up listing them for the seller. I mean, it's just 
turns into whatever it yeah. needs to turn into. just made it back and I think Daniel forgot something so he had to run back into the apartment but we are now gonna hit the road and I think we're going to either Clarksville or Crossville I cannot remember which one he said uh, but I think we're supposed to be there at 2 I think he said it's about a 45 minute drive it's 1 o'clock now so we're making really good timing I had to stop recording while we were walking because the cold air just really got to me and uh, I just, oh my gosh. And I'm also getting over like a really bad cold. We were just in New York and I got hit with a cold on our way there and I'm just now getting over with it, but I still have a lot of like the symptoms and um, yeah, so that cold air just got to me and the wind blowing and like my nose just started acting up and it's like you guys don't want to see that. So <laughs> I decided to just cut the camera off and just start recording again while we're in the car. New York was so much fun. I we mainly went because we were actually going to Pennsylvania because I had a I already worked with two production teams for bell leotards but i was hoping to get like another one under our belt so we would have three and there was a manufacturer in pennsylvania so they contacted us and then we got there and it just it didn't go too well oh daniel's bringing the the water tub or water jug so i guess we're going to the aquarium store we just got uh a fish tank like I think four weeks ago, I think about four weeks ago. So we have two little fishies. Uh, their names are Monday and Tuesday. And we just got a shrimp, a little shrimpy. <laughs> and his name is Coconut. We stopped at Smoothie King. Mm -hmm. What kind of smoothie did you get? Strawberry. Strawberry. to the first property we are in Clarksville no Crossville <laughs> I always get the two completely mixed up and Daniel reminded me that Clarksville is like really close to Nashville so yeah that would have been a longer drive for sure but yeah so we made it to the property I'm not going to show the house we'll wait until Daniel gets back in the car and then I'll let him you know explain his thoughts about everything I wanted to finish telling you guys about um, our trip. So we were actually supposed to go to Michigan for a sled dog race. And we go every, Feb every February. And um, they ended up canceling it because they didn't have enough snow. So we were just going to cancel our trip completely, not go anywhere. But, like, randomly I got an email from a lady that owns a... Um, like a manufacturing facility and they work with leotards and they've worked with really big companies that I know of. And I talked to her on the phone and, um, she told me everything they could do and sent some, you know, pictures of, uh, leotards that they've worked on and all the things. So talk to her on the phone, email. Um, and we were like, well, I mean, it sounded like another production company that we could work with because we already work with two and it's like okay well we have a lot of custom orders like coming in at this point so um the more hands the better so we're like well let's just go to pennsylvania uh and then also we could go over to new york because of the garment district because there's a place where you can get the perfect fabric for leotards so we we're like let's just go we end up going to pennsylvania and we toured the place and it just come to find out they can't do as much as they said, because I remember her saying, I asked her specifically if they could do, um, rhinestones and, uh, sequins and press them and all, all those things, because you have to be able to 
have the rhinestones separately, create those files, and then press them, heat press them onto um, the garment. We get there and she said that they can't do rhinestones, but they can do spangles. And spangles is pretty much like a sequence. Like if you think about sequins, um, normally sequins is sewn on and there's like a little hole in the middle for like the thread. A spangle does not have the hole in the middle. So you can actually heat press a spangle. Um, so she was like, yeah, we can heat press spangles, but we can't um, do rhinestones. It's like, well, that's a huge part of a leotard, <laughs> especially a competition leotard, because you have to have rhinestones. Um, so that just, it, it honestly just, it wasn't a win. <laughs> In all honesty, I thought that we were going to have another production team that could do do it all because we have two already that they are amazing. So far, it is looking like it is not a deal. <laughs> um, Daniel, I'll have him explain it a little bit more when he gets back in the car. But yes, I think that they are wanting a lot more than what the property is worth. And it would definitely need some renovations <laughs> for sure. I hate that I can't show you guys, but it's, it's a pretty rough house, but this happens. Sometimes, um, we leave with a deal and sometimes we leave without one and it's okay when that happens. It's just onto the next one. Like you have to just keep looking and searching and, you know, thankfully we have, um, Daniel has a team of, of cold callers and, you know, guys that'll help them find the next one for us i know we have to like drive off so i'll get the camera in a second the problem with this is it's two acres it's three structures there's a lot of feeling that someone would think as though they have a lot of value mm -hmm. and so the bigger the problem as in physically larger structures more land for on our end it comes more risk and we would have to get this property rezoned to a, be able to accomplish a duplex plan. And that takes time and money. And every time, let's say you bought this for $200,000, you'd lose $2,000 every four weeks while you're trying to build that plan. That goes before all of the renovations that needed to be done. And this house yeah. had jankity gas, on one side, electric on the other for heat. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that one didn't work. They put uh, metal, um, a metal roof over the old shingles. Mm -hmm. So now you have rotting shingles underneath yeah. from years before. You have a deck behind there that's falling off. There's a lot of things you have to fix just so that way the legality of having a tenant uh, doesn't turn into just getting sued every other month from someone yeah. getting hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Super chips. chips. Um, it's been in Knoxville for a while now, but this is the first time trying it. And I mean, we, so far we've just tried the fries, and they are so good. Like, look at that. They are really, really good. And um, then we got the Parmesan chicken sandwich, and I ended up getting the cheesy barbecue. It has cheddar, onion rings, and barbecue sauce. The, said, it's good. the second property that we were supposed to go to at four, they decided to um, move it to tomorrow. So we're going to skip that, but we are going to the aquarium. Um, we should have got that one because it looks like little killer whales. <laughs> Oh wait, that one right here? Yeah, right there. Yeah, it's right there, that one, right there. <laughs> Look at him. He chill. Mm. I like how these just like chill out a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Our fish are starting to do that though. It just takes months for mom fish to get like used to them. We are leaving. Aquatic marine. Aquatic marine in Knoxville, Tennessee on Clinton Highway and they are amazing. We've 
I think we started coming here, what, like a month ago? Yeah, we've been here like over four times already. Yeah, it's, they're really, really cool. Um, but show them what we got <laughs> for uh, green, our tank. Green something, polyp. It's just like grass. It'll grow like, literally look like green grass, but it, it shrinks up when it gets nervous. <laughs> like a defense system, because it's a coral. And most of this is just... Uh, man-made um, like a cap for it to grow on so what you're looking at is not like a full um, plant it's just a... so that will be green when we get home and put it in the water when it's not stressed right now it's just retracted itself <laughs> and is like looks like mud man-made rock that will glue underwater and then it'll like grow <laughs> That's so cool. I'm so excited. I, every time we leave this place, we leave with a bag of something. <laughs> 50 bucks. Every time. Every time. But it's worth it. Honestly, it's worth and it. And we only have a little micro nano tank. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys. This is the place. Aquatic Marine. And they have these little vans. That one. And then they have another one that's like a little clownfish up here. I think it's a clownfish, is it? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, but they're like behind a car wash and behind another, yeah, uh, commercial building, yeah. Um, a but pet, a mattress store, <laughs> they're really cool, though. And that's the place we ate. Oh, yeah, we ate there, like right there, that super little chips. place, super chits. And then this is the other one. So, if you see them around Knoxville, Tennessee, this is where they're located. <laughs> This is our dog, Wednesday. We just made it back home from the aquarium store. We discovered the other day, or Daniel discovered the other day, that we have a starfish <laughs> that's just hanging out. Uh, let's see if I can show you guys. It's kind of deformed. Yeah, he's missing like a little leg. Where is he at? Oh, he's right there. Can you zoom? Yeah. He's that little guy. Right there. If you can see them. That little thing. <laughs> but this is our fish tank. We're about to do a water change and add our green olive thing. So, yeah. We're basically gonna take it out. And it's a little bit, it's not as complicated as it seems, but salt water does. So, and it's difficult. Pros and cons. Which is expected. Mm -hmm. These will grow an inch a week. Oh, wow. Well, I think that we're going to end the video here. Dang, you will end up doing the water change. And what is the little guy called? He ended up adding a green the star polyp. Green star polyp. Did I say that right? I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that we're just going to. No. Oh, here. Fish tank's more on the chain than us. <laughs> he added them right there. They're just hanging out. <laughs> But yeah, I think that we're just going to hang out for the rest of the night and maybe watch the new episode of Travel Spree. <laughs> um, if you guys haven't checked them out, definitely go and do it. I absolutely love them. They're so much fun. But yeah, I think that's about it. I think that we're just going to hang out. And do you have anything to say? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, we'll talk to you guys soon.